Hello, friends. Today, we'll learn about harvesting. Wow! The strawberry looks uniform, red, and firm. It has a fresh looking green cap. It means you can harvest this now. Don't get confused, let me explain all about harvesting. Harvesting is a process of taking out useful parts of plants. This is done when plants have reached a certain stage where they have nutritious and edible parts. Some plants require abundant rainfall for harvesting, while some other plants require sunlight. It is done according to the season. Wow, you're having eggplant salad. It was harvested from your garden. You know, there are three main methods of harvesting. Manual harvesting. In this method, the produce is harvested by hand, without the use of any tools. For example, to harvest a radish, you need to pull the entire plant straight up from the soil. Hand tools harvesting. It is a technique for picking something with the help of tools. For example, cilantro can be harvested using scissors. Machine harvesting. In this method, the produce is harvested with the help of machines. Look at that farmer harvesting crops with the help of a mower. Oh, you're eating the strawberry that you had harvested earlier. Did you store the remaining berries? You know, there are various stages of the harvesting process. Let's learn about them one by one. Reaping. It is a process of removing mature pinnacles and straws that have grown above the ground. Threshing. It is the process of separating the food grains, such as paddy, wheat, etc., from the rest of the cut crop. Cleaning. It is an important step in the harvesting process, and it largely entails figuring out how to get immature and non-grain particles, dust, and other contaminants out of nice and edible food grains. Stacking. Stacking is a technique for piling harvested crops for storage. Bagging. The final step in the harvesting process is bagging. For storage and transportation, the dressed grains are kept in secure bags. Storage. Small-scale farmers use a harvested crop for their own consumption, whereas large-scale production is mostly used for marketing. Blah! There's some bacteria in the storage. The stored grains may be attacked by bacteria, fungi, and environmental factors, including moisture and temperature. Therefore, the grains must be properly treated before being stored. Now, you know a lot about the topic. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye!